In this video, we will explore the justify content utilities. These utilities help align items along the main axis of the flex container. Main axis means if you are working with a horizontal layout using flex row or just by default without specifying the flex direction, the main axis is horizontal. So justify content aligns items from left to right. But if you are working with a vertical layout using flex call or flex call reverse, the main axis switches to vertical and justify content will align items from top to bottom. So here is a glance of all the utilities related to justify content. Let's explore one by one using an example. Justify start. It aligns items at the start of the container. If you are using flex row, items will be aligned to the left. If you are using flex call, then the items will be aligned to the top. So here we have a flex container inside which we have the three items, three child elements. Ignore the styling, those are just for the demonstration purpose. What we have to focus is on the flex container that has the flex utility. So I'll add the justify start utility and save it. Now this is the default behavior, that's why you are not seeing any differences. But if you add flex call to this, as I said, these utilities align the items along the main axis. Now the main axis is flex, so that's why it is from left to right. Now I'll add flex call, then this becomes top to bottom. So as you can see, now the items are from the top to bottom. So with or without justify start, this is the default behavior for flex and flex call. So I'll remove flex call again. For every utility, we will check both for flex and flex call so that you can see the differences. Next, we will check the justify end utility. It aligns the items at the end of the container. So in flex row, that will push items to the right and in flex call, the items will align at the bottom. Let me add justify end and save it. Now you can see that the items are on the left and on saving, it will be at the end. To the right so if i add flex call and save it now you can see that the direction also changed from top to bottom and also it is at the bottom of the container now next we have justify center so i'll remove the flex call and justify end and add justify center and save it now you can see the items came from the left to middle so this is exactly in the center. So justify center centers the items along the main axis. So in flex row, this aligns the items horizontally in the center. But when you use flex call, it centers them vertically. So I'll remove the justify center. And first add flex call. So you see the default behavior without adding the justify content utilities. So as you can see, it is in the top to bottom order and it is on the start of the container. Now if you add justify center, it will be vertically centered. Next we have justify between. It distributes space between items. The first item is placed at the start, the last item at the end and then with even spacing between the other items. So I'll remove the justify center and flex call and add justify between. As you can see, the first item is at the start, the last item is at the end, and then we have even spacing between the other items. Now we have only one item, but if you add another item, then you can see that we have even spacing between all the other elements in between the first and last element. I'll remove it. And you can also observe that uh, there is some space between the containers that is because I added padding to the flex container so if i remove this padding and save it then it will touch the container edges on the left and right so i added padding so that you can easily see the differences but generally there will not be any space by default then we have another utility called justify around this is similar to between but this distributes space around items not just between items meaning equal space on all sides of each item. Let me add justify around.
the first and last items won't touch the containers edges and there will be space around every item not just between the items the next one is justify evenly it distributes items evenly with equal space between them including the space at the edges of the container now by using around you can observe that there is less gap on the right and left and but more gap in the middle that is because every item has equal spacing around that item because of the justify around now we will use evenly and this will create even spacing across all the items including the container edges spacing let's save it and now you can see we have same space from the container edge to the element and also this element between the middle element so this creates an even spacing across all the elements in that row so here is the summary with all the utilities showing the difference for each utility the justify content utilities are used frequently with utilities related to aligning items which we will discuss in the next video see you there